This is Proper Sport. This is Proper Sport. Well, good morning. Welcome along to a Proper Sport Friday morning. Uh, and it is, uh, well, it's the day it all starts. Burnley Joe's in the studio with us this morning. Good morning. Football starts today. Well, it started last week for me, mate. I, d- I, d- I don't know what you're talking about. Europa League. I've, I've been talking about this off air with you all. Europa League. <laughs> Europa <laughs> League. No one's heard of Europa <laughs> League, have they? Would you do me a favour and just pull the power out of that camera there? Pull the power out of the yeah, camera? Yeah, that out of the back. Because oh, we're getting a... Camera. It's buzzing, it's buzzing. There you go, there perfect, go. that's all we need. Sorted. Ah, oh, fun and laughter on a Friday morning. It is the first of our brand new uh, Fan Fridays, uh, this on uh, uh, Proper Sport. And uh, joining us in the studio uh, to talk some uh, loose, loose, loose ahead of the weekend. And cast our eye over the rest of the footballing world, we've got uh, Jill and Dom are in the studio. Good morning. 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 Morning, Darren, you well? Uh, I am not bad at all, enjoying this beautiful weather. Absolutely, it's amazing. Yeah. It was a bit warm on the way. Oh, it was a bit warm last night, though. I thought. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. It was a bit close. I had to have a leg out. <laughs> it was a little bit close. A leg I had to have out. a leg out. Look at this. A leg out. Look at. I've got yeah. a fan in the room. Oh, have you? Yeah, has to hey. be done. <laughs> Starbucks <laughs> fan. The wife doesn't like it though because it makes too much noise. But well, just then chanting Darren it's... in the corner is going to make too much noise, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's very true. <laughs> 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 starting to go on. Oh, he started. Now we've started. Now we've started. We're live on Periscope and YouTube this morning uh, so if you want to get in contact uh, at Proper Sport on Twitter uh, if you want to have a chat with us uh, this morning ahead of uh, the new season of course uh, very very much uh, excited about this we're going to find out we're going to take the temperature of the Leeds fans this morning ahead of uh, well today is Marcelo Bielsa's first press conference uh, first pre-match press conference uh, which Joe's going to be going uh, to a little bit uh, later yeah. on you've got your sleeping bag ready and uh, yeah it just seems to be the, the theme joke that doesn't it you'll be there for a while make sure you take a comfy chair or a packed lunch but <laughs> his first one his unveiling we're, we're alright we're just over an hour I mean, I were, I were, I remember needing the toilet quite badly. I think I'm going to have to leave in a minute if he doesn't hurry up. Thankfully, he finished, so I could nip over to the toilet. But yeah, I, hopefully, it's not that long. Three hours, I've heard. Three yeah, hours. they can be. You I, can I think do. he did that after a match that they, uh, quite an important match that they'd lost, apparently. So really? I'm hoping a pre game presser will be nice and relaxed. No more than 20 minutes. Because if uh, any more than 20 minutes, and I've got two people to interview, because obviously Bamford's going to be there as well, the batteries don't last very long on the cameras Oops. here. So I might have to take a charger with me and plug it in between. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, I think, what, what time's it happening? About 11.30 this morning. 11 a.m. they've moved it. It was 11.30, but now it's 11 a.m. So straight out of here, straight in car, up to Asda, get myself a notebook, and then over to Four Parch. <laughs> get yourself a notebook. notebook. Look, forgot my notebook, lost it. You mean one of those you're writing? Or one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh, that's Oh, okay. yeah, no, I'm not going Let's to go. buy a Mac. Have some paper. <laughs> there you go. Save your can't, money. Can't take away that, can Save I? Save your money. Like a newsreader. <laughs> <laughs> flashcards. That's all you got to do yeah. is just shuffle it, just shuffle not it. Not use flashcards since my GCSE days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Fan Friday. Get involved, of course, on uh, Twitter, at Proper Sport as well. Um, and, of course, you'll be able to download this as a podcast a little bit later on this morning. This is Proper Sport. Well, I suppose before we get on to Leeds, we should probably just talk. I know, I know, but it'd be remiss not to talk about Burnley Ooh. because uh, um, Joe Redmond, this is not like you, Darren. Burnley Joe um, on their European adventure <laughs> to, to Aberdeen. <laughs> One of my favourite things on Twitter was the Burnley fan who found out that they the young be- lad. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. absolutely it worked, classic. It? I won't use his language, <laughs> but when he found out that they'd drawn Aberdeen, he ranted. About yeah. all these years we've been out of Europe, and yeah. we get Aberdeen. He, he is quite <laughs> vocal on Twitter. He's, I think he's called Vizzer. He's a YouTuber, so yeah. he, do, he does it videos was funny. like that. It but was funny. I, I, I were the same when we got Aberdeen. I'm like, for God's sake, I, you know, I could have gone to Portugal, <laughs> Kazakhstan. I'd have even gone there, but I've ended up in Aberdeen. Got there. It, we couldn't have got a better team to play against. The fans were fantastic. The city were brilliant, and it was quite cheap to get there as well. And the next one's Istanbul, so I'd rather have been in Aberdeen than Istanbul. So I think, 
Uh, what I will say is, you know, I was a bit miffed off at the time, but that's hilarious. Absolutely when the draw it. was done, it yeah, was hilarious. It was in this fun, office, <laughs> I've never laughed so much in my life. Like I because said, I we... was one of them, but ultimately, in hindsight, I'm happy we got them. They are my new favourite Scottish team. We've even got a little oh, Aberdeen, look little that. Aberdeen I sticker. I got myself a polo stick. top as well when I were up there. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. What, an Aberdeen polo top? Yeah, a dandy's polo top, as they call them. Uh, so when they play Rangers on Sunday, I'm at, oh no, I'll be here on Sunday, won't I? So I won't stick it on. Yeah, yeah. Can't wear an Aberdeen polo top here, can I? Yeah, we'll talk about uh, Stoke uh, in, a, in a short wee while. But yeah, no, congratulations. I, I didn't think you were going to do it, I've got to be honest with you. I thought, we were uh, poor. We I were, th- over the two legs, we were poor. It were a, never a penalty in the first game. I don't know if anybody watched the first game. It weren't no, actually on telly. It, it weren't no. actually Why on telly. Why would exactly. I watch that? Yeah, exactly. I've got paint to dry. Because you're, you're only going to see Europe <laughs> on telly, aren't you? You're not going to see Europe here. Here he so goes, well here he goes, Tom. He's started, he's started. All I'll say is, I think, didn't we beat you last season? I don't know. Penalties. <laughs> League Cup. League oh, Cup. the Cup, yes, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Lee, Lee, <laughs> Leeds B team beat Burnley B team. Well done. Oh, I'd have took that and stayed up. Still beat you. I'd have took that and stayed up while you lot stayed down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but again, congratulations on, on getting over. He's normally, he's normally the git in the shoe, though. It's these two today. <laughs> Maybe Darren arrest. No, I honestly, congratulations, you know, on getting over what is effectively a non league team. So, uh, yeah, well yeah. done. So, well, with last time we played a non league team, we couldn't get past them, could we? So, <laughs> progress. <laughs> Last time uh, I went to Burnley, we won. Was that last year? Mm, oh. No, no, a while back. It must have been. Snoddy was still. <laughs> it with weren't us. last year. Snoddy was still playing. <laughs> wow, that is a while ago, twice, that isn't yeah. it? Um, uh, well, congratulations. Are you, uh, you you considering the Turkey trip now? Are you looking? I'm at I'm considering that? it, but it, like I was saying off air, it's expensive. It's like, I'm gonna. It's like 800 quid to get there and stay in a hotel for two nights. Yeah. Then on top of that, there's tickets, beer money, food money. So I'm you're going to spend more Whether or not your other half will be happy with you doing she it. She will be fuming, 100%. <laughs> but I said to her, like, if I go to Istanbul for two, three nights and watch Burnley, I'll take you on a city break, which I probably would have done anyway, but she said, yeah. So Sounds good. Yeah, that's right. send her on a city break with the girl, you'll take her on once you get yeah. to go as well. Yeah. <laughs> I like the style. <laughs> if not, they're doing, a big, they're doing a screening at Turf, so I might go down to that. I'll be able to take the lad with me if I do that. They're quite good fun. We do them, don't they? Beanbag things are good fun. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It's the yeah, first time we've done it because obviously normally it's in this country, whereas yeah. now it's miles away. But so. we do them in this country and we get thousands. So, yeah, you know, but we're late. No, they do. We don't need to do because most fans go. <laughs> I love you. Jill. I'm just going to slide to one side. Like <laughs> I've, missed you, I've missed you, Jill. I've missed you, Jill. I've missed you. Already people saying good morning. Ben saying good morning. Morning. Uh, Ingham 37, I think that's Keith, isn't hi it? Keith. Hello, Keith. He says, hi, Jilly. Enjoy the season. Love you, Keith. Uh, and he said, well, first question of the morning, OK. Are you two hopeful, excited, or ready for another season of ups and downs? <laughs> Is that from Keith? As per usual. That's from Keith. Because it's, well, how are you feeling today ahead of the season? Don, let's come to you first. Excited. You know, we don't know what we're going to get with the new manager. It's it's been well publicised that he's absolutely... um He's a maverick, should we say. Loco. Uh, Loco. El Loco. 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 No one knows what we're going to get with him. Uh, Pre-season's been up and down. You know, the the player's still getting used to his system or, well, whatever system it is. It's that fluid, Mm. you know, interchangeable crackpot that it is. um, (laughs) But, you know, it, it could be good. It could be fantastic or it could be horrific. A lot of people have said that, and I fully agree. But I'm, I'm really excited. I absolutely cannot wait for the season to start. It's, um, it, it feels like a long summer, bizarrely, because we had the World Cup as well. Yeah. But it still feels like it's been a long summer uh, without it. And yeah, come Sunday. I think it's because we've watched so much football in the middle of the season, which isn't our teams. It's, it it feels like it's rest, been ages we? since we've actually seen our teams. Yeah. yeah. That's how I've I feel, had to anyway. visit in Wimbledon and the Tour de France. Exactly. As well, so I've had all, a busy all that sport. Since you last saw Leeds. Oh, I love that. Can I, can I borrow that? Sport. 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 I had Sport. syllables. I'll get, I'll, get, I'll get in mocks last night about Scottish. I'm like, hold on, you're Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't mock my accent when you're Scottish. <laughs> Hang on, you're Scottish. <laughs> Hang on, you're Scottish. <laughs> yeah, he kept going, Burnley. <laughs> Bonley. <laughs> Bonley. <laughs> Burnley sounds better Bonley. than Bonley. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Jill, what yes. about you? Excited, nervous? Ups and downs, what's going to happen? Put it this way. Okay. I've cleared, <laughs> <laughs> I've cleared my diary for May. Oh, my God. Uh, right, see, what... But I'm... Oh, you know, Darren, you've you've known me a little while now. Yeah. We often meet up before the season starts. True. I am the most optimistic Leeds fan you will ever find. I'm always yeah. excited. The fact that I'm still on the planet, I and mean, I've still got my season ticket, and Leeds are still there. 
that, oh, that's, that's what I care about. You want, eh? I don't think it's going to be easy, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be one heck of a journey. It's going to be... An yeah, I, you know, I, I, unfortunately my Leeds journey started in the 70s, sort of at the peak of the... It's all <laughs> so been downhill kind of since then, really, isn't it? <laughs> Apart from a couple of little ups, you know, yeah. you, Champions you know, League yeah. things. Well, my, but... my first season was the 1991-92 champ- the oh, season. That was so, my first season, yeah. so I came in on a bit of a high and then yeah. had to suffer some atrocities. Yeah, I've shed yeah. tears of happiness and tears of absolute misery, so... And yeah. To Absolutely. see my club almost disappear off the planet oh, was, a few, well, was more, scary. Yeah, more than time, any time. But um, so as Keith hasn't mentioned the top I'm wearing either, he'd uh, normally have had a go at that one. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, he's, he's not a Seahawks fan. Oh, you know, uh, Right, so uh, see, explain to me, who are the Seahawks? Seattle Seahawks. Seattle. Right, and what are they? What, NFL. What? NFL. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. not football. American football. That's rugby no, league for girls. American egg throwing. It's <laughs> I didn't enjoy it. I went to a game once in California. I didn't I love enjoy it. it. I, I love like it. baseball. Yeah, it's but, not for uh, me. Keith supports a bit of a. And yeah. Blue Jays. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd prefer like to watch Jays. baseball, baseball, I think. I love the Blue Jays. Oh, I'm a Yankees fan. Oh, really? So You've I'm... just taken one of our top players. <laughs> the, the pitcher. J. NFL Hatt. Friday. Picture, yeah. oh, oh, no, and ba- is, this is Baseball Friday now. <laughs> baseball Friday. American yeah, Friday. I was <laughs> taken. I was on a school trip two summers ago in Canada and I was taken to watch the Blue Jays and I said, why are we going to watch grown men play rounders? I loved it. Yeah, no, that's the one. Do you know what? I loved that's, it. It's, it's the one I want to get yeah. involved in because uh, Yeah, let's, let's go to Canada. Yeah, well, I'll do it. The yeah, food. I want to go to a game, definitely. The I've only never thing even that, been out there. The only thing that attracts me about NFL is apparently the tailgating. You yeah, like have outside. a barbecue in a car park before, and I'm up for that. And a lot of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll bring a cake. <laughs> yeah, bring the cake. I'll have the barbecue. I'll bring the beer. And then, then, then I don't have to watch the game we'll because it goes on for about it's 18 all, hours. It's, it's all razzmatazz. It's all the pom poms and stuff, and they all come running out, oh, and then sick. they all go bang. It's a sport built for advertising. It's shocking. I might go to a Wembley one. I've been thinking about going to a Wembley one, but tickets are like gold dust, aren't they? Boring. I'm sorry. Gold dust. uh, I can't read your name there, mate. Uh, Ingham says Raiders all the way. (laughs) And also (laughs) then, uh, Ak F. Sefweth. I think that's your name, mate. Uh, Raiders all the way as well. Mm. Um, What? Well, uh, I don't know. They've got one of the Seahawks reject players, Marshawn Lynch, playing for them so they can have him. Is there still the London Silly Nannies? Do they still play? <laughs> um, I think that was in uh, <laughs> Family Guy. Family Guy, family guy yeah. <laughs> shaboopy, shaboopy. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh, yes, it's NFL Friday. Uh, I hope you're uh, enjoying the show so far. Do you know what? We actually talked about getting an NFL podcast of some sort. Yeah, on, seemed to remember Randy yeah. Lawson were a fan, weren't he? Yeah, there's a few people. Fact, Mark Wilson really. Well, I presume there'd be a local NFL side. There was, there was the Yorkshire Rams, which was a um, a um, an American football team. Football team, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they're still in operation. I don't know, Uh, but yeah, because I did have some chats with them uh, ages ago. Yeah, I think you should do that. You'd have me and Keith, obviously. We'd be Um, up for it. I think it would be a popular thing. Look, I I I know I joke, but a lot of people do like that NFL. Vernon K was into it big time, didn't he? Oh, he was yeah. huge. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah, you're right. Vernon yeah. Kay, where's he now, eh? <laughs> Where is he now? I don't. Actually, I don't know. Oh. I haven't seen him. I've seen him once when the, them figures came out. Danny Parkinson show here was beating his show wherever he was, and I can't remember where he was. Oh really? Yeah. He was at Radio X, wasn't was he? It? Yeah. Danny Parkinson Shaw was doing better than his. <laughs> than Vernon yeah. Kay. That wasn't hard though. It was really. <laughs> it wasn't hard. I was, I was trying Vernon. to get him to tweet him, but he wouldn't. Was like, no, no, no. Go on, it'll go viral. Just tweet him, giving him grief, and he won't do it. Uh, <laughs> by the way, if you do want to listen to some other podcasts as well, do make sure you download uh, the LS11 podcast from yesterday. Mm, yeah. It's available it's right now. It is good. Simon Grayson was on the show uh, yesterday with myself and Ryan, and uh, we're now at the moment number twenty. I, I haven't checked it recently. Uh, but we were last night number 24 in the iTunes charts uh, for LS11, which is like uh, was a good one. quite a sp- uh, quite a spectacular result, really. Yesterday, I was very lucky to meet <coughs> Simon Grayson at the Josh Warrington fight. Oh, did you go? Top, yeah, 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 top chap. Yeah, I, I went. I went because the Kaiser Chiefs were playing, not because <coughs> of the boxing. It's probably one of the few sports I don't watch. Right. And but Nicola Adams was boxing, and so I was quite keen to watch her. But that was over in the first round. Yeah, right. um, <laughs> and, and of course, there, Lucas Radaby was there, hero. So yeah, he was. Um, the band played, and when they were playing our predictor riot, that's when Josh Warrington came, came out on. with Lucas Radebe. And so I started watching it, and it was brilliant. I just couldn't get over the, the quality of the fighting and the... You enjoyed it? You, I you loved hooked. it. Really? Absolutely loved it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So I've got another new sport now. Uh, boxing. There we yeah. go. Right, we're going to yeah. send you off to do some uh, boxing reporting. What okay. about MMA? Would you, would you think you'd be up for that, like cage fighting? Oh, Mitch no, <laughs> no. No, that's just a bit barbaric. Conor McGregor, that sort of thing. No. Role. I like Josh Warrington. Yeah, he's a nice guy, Josh, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's a top guy. Um, uh, so it's uh, Leeds United fans Friday. Uh, Jill, Dom, uh, Darren and Joe in the studio. Get involved, of course, uh, uh, with your tweets and comments on Periscope as well. Binks Lee says, make sure you download Talking Shut. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, that is another good pod- podcast as well. Talking Shut uh, is available uh, right now. Um, and uh, we love Gary uh, and uh, the two Bens and Raggy. Yeah. Um, uh, so make sure you download those. Um, Ingham says, there is a superb group on Facebook run by myself. I'd be up <laughs> for it. Um, and he hopes to see the young man at either Spurs or Wembley. I think that's me. Is that you? I think so. Okay. I'm not that young these days, but youngish. 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 I would I would like to get to one. Like I said, it's just the tickets go really, really fast and they're quite yeah. over hundred quid, aren't they? I think. Yeah, they're not cheap. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed because yeah, true. very last that. bit on this, I know it's not an NFL show, but uh, <laughs> the Seahawks are actually playing Oakland Raiders on um, on the Sunday at, at Tottenham's new ground. Yeah. Should it be ready? Yeah. Um, that's on the Sunday. I actually fly down to London from Leeds on the tu- following Tuesday before heading out to New York. So I don't really La think... La-dee-da! I don't really think I can swing with the, the new, missus. Is that the new <laughs> Tottenham ground where Lewis Cook might be playing? It may be well, yeah. Shut yeah, it. Yeah, Shut it. it. Just say it. Bournemouth's Lewis Cook at the moment. They can't get rid of <laughs> we'll him for 30 for million. That's too, that's too cheap. That's 24 million profit. You've done yeah, all right yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, I think... Yeah, these aren't getting a penny, are they, as well? Oh, so you might as well take it. Apparently not. There's, there's not, no sell-on for... There's no sell-on calls. I don't believe it. It was Chilino that sorted it out. That's bad business. It was Chilino that sorted the contract out, Oh, we're seeing pound signs. No, no. Darren is right. Darren now. just gets all the profit. Well, not Darren personally, obviously. <laughs> no, no. That would... We might be able to add on to the, like the four people we can pack into yeah. Dean Court. <laughs> yeah, pay for another stand. That will. Is that what your ground's called? Dean, well, it's called the Vitality, Vitality Stadium. Yeah. It is, oh, okay. it's Dean Court. Dean Court. It's Dean Court. Dean Court's a traditional name. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah it's Dean Court. So like another one of these grounds that, that's lost. You've its turned your nose up sponsored. at that, haven't you, Jill? I've yeah. seen that. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so let's. First of all, let's have a look at the transfers, shall we, uh, for, for, for Leeds United. It was very, very quiet up until uh, last week. A few, a few, just a couple of loans coming in. And then yeah. uh, Barry Douglas, Patrick Bamford, um, uh, Jack Harrison all uh, coming in in the, the last week. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts? Were you one of the people before last week going, why haven't they signed anybody? Yeah, I want one of these people that were tweeting the owner and tweeting, you know, <laughs> all the, the, the official accounts, <laughs> yeah. slagging them off and having a right dig. At them. I don't see the point in that, but yeah, I was nervous on the inside. I was panicking, obviously, talking to friends and family and that about it. It was really quite a nervy time. You're thinking, right, okay, so we've got a good keeper in, uh, we've got Lewis Baker in, who's yeah, he's a great player, good yeah. quality, good um, pedigree. That's it, two loans, and you're thinking, what's going on here? We're, we're short of a striker, we're short of a centre half, which we still are, mm. we're short of a bit of pace on the wing. Oh, what, what are we going to do here? Uh, left back position, I didn't feel we were short because I thought Tom Pierce. It's great. Absolutely fantastic. Yep. But obviously, if we're getting going to get <coughs> the lad that we've got at th- what three, we reported between three and five million, whatever the official figure is, it's a steal. It absolutely is a steal because he was fantastic last season. Bamford's proven at this level. If he starts regularly at number nine, he, he gets your goals. And I I was a bit I'm in an iron about Bamford at first. I thought he does get your goals, guaranteed, pretty yeah. guaranteed goals. Yeah. How good is he though? I've read all the all the feedback from Middlesbrough fans. They are absolutely wounded to have lost him. That's now, for good. me, that shows something. That they're, if they're that gutted to have lost the guy, that shows that he does have something about him. Um, and if they weren't bothered, they'd be like, well, yeah, see you later, good luck, enjoy it, whatever they'd be saying. But they're absolutely wounded. You can tell that on the social media. So, yeah, I think we're doing well. But I, like I say, I still think we need a centre back. Um, I don't like slagging off individual players, but for me, you're not going to get promotion in a team where Liam Cooper plays 40, 40 50 games. Okay. I don't feel I just feel that he's got too many mistakes in him personally right okay I'm not one of these ones that really gets on his back and thinks he's, too, he's league one level and he's no better than that I don't agree yeah. with that I just think he's a good rotational defender um, I wouldn't have it certainly wouldn't have his captain that's just my own opinion I know there's other people who do feel that he's a, a lot better than that but that's what it's about football isn't it it's about opinions yeah yeah uh, exactly I think we need another centre half in and maybe somebody's in there to replace Vieira apparently there's rumours circulating that we've had a bid Accepted or negotiating for Ryan Woods from Brentford. Yeah, um, I saw that. I saw uh, that. I don't couple, know how much there is to that. I, I was reading somebody from one of the BBC 
radio stations. He tweeted it this morning about that. So oh, it, really? Uh, okay. It's been agreed. That's okay. Let's start out on signing. that. The rumours were Leeds were a fan, but no official contact had been made. But I haven't seen anything this morning, yeah. so it may have progressed. Yeah, apparently, and like I say, it's all it's puts some maybe at the minute, isn't it? But yeah. uh, that'd be a fantastic signing because he was one of the best midfielders we came up against last season. He absolutely dominated us, so he could be fantastic. Especially, I mean, do we know how serious uh, Forshaw's injury is? But it was no, nothing toe, that, yeah. that's all Because it, it was in so. a cast type thing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah which just seemed a bit serious a for a toe injury. So I mean, I stubbed my toe the other morning, but still. Yeah, she's not, not in a cast. not wearing a cast. Not not in a cast. This you know, she's hard. She will, she will be ready to play on Sunday. <laughs> I'm late, I'm hard. <laughs> she's hard. She's late. That's it. So, what, yeah. what are your thoughts, uh, Jill, on the, on the uh, transfer so far this summer? Well... It was quite exciting when we had Besler, you know, suddenly we've got a very serious manager. This guy has a stadium named after him, you know, he's, he's renowned. And then it all went quiet and I'm a bit like Dom, you know, like thinking, well, he can't turn that lot around and make them into a championship winning side. So it, it got a bit stressful and people that we were being linked with we're going elsewhere, you know, so we were after the sounds like, oh, he's just signed for somewhere else, and you're thinking, what is going on? Yeah. Um, but I feel a bit more G'd up now that we've got certainly some good players coming in. I am a little bit... a bit reserved about Bamford. I mean, really? Yeah, yeah, I am, actually. 12 goals last season, but you look at the seasons before that, nothing. He, you know, they had two seasons where he didn't yeah. score a goal... Two or three, and then then I think there was a seventeen goal uh, season. Still only two thousand and fifteen. He's still only so, so young, though. He's but only twenty four. The thing 24. is, Darren, the thing is that concerns me right. is that something strange happens at Elland Road. We're bringing strikers, proven strikers. Let's talk. Let's, for example, take Barndor Billy. He came in. <laughs> Barndor Billy. Came oh in. bless. Came in top striker for was it Swindon we brought him from? Top yep. striker in the league. Yeah. And he could not hit a barn door. I remember, you know, Blackpool, Tuesday night, February, the l lads are all singing, if Billy scores, we're in the sea. Well, thank goodness he was true to form and we all went home dry. Because, you know, he, he <laughs> just... He just didn't do it. And we've seen this time and time again. So I'm a little... little concerned. OK. Yeah. I'd, see, I'd, I'd, I sort of get it because he's had, a, he's had some off-seasons, but I just think that... Uh, 24 years of age, he's still not the finished article. He's still... People, they're not supposed to get to your absolute peak until, what, 28? 28, mm. 27, 28, and... So I think you, you might have the absolute best years of his career over the next three, four years. You Can I quote have, you on that, Darren? Well, I'd say it could. Could have the, uh, the, the, the with this possibility, definitely. I yeah. understand what you're saying about uh, Ellen Road does something to. Yeah. There is a pressure. Yeah. There is a pressure. We've I had think. strikers in time and time again, and it's just not happened. You know, yeah. Billy Sharp. How many years did we chase Billy Sharp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need nothing. It, he needs to yeah. score. Yeah. I mean, he needs to score quickly. Yes. Just to get that. Off his back, yeah. and and then it'll but it'll probably yeah. just relax the thing into is, it. I don't know if you remember, Vaduka took about six or seven games to score. I think his first goal was against Besiktas here when we beat them six, whatever it was. Really, uh, he took quite a few mm. games to get get going. So he, he, but then he redeemed himself. He did redeem Liverpool. himself more than you know five times over. But Still my yeah. favourite game. Um, really. Oh, the, the, the I quite often watch it when I've got, you know, I'll have a cup of tea. Oh, I'll just put the Liverpool game on. Yeah, it's... Oh. <laughs> I mean, the quality's poor, isn't it, in terms of the, the, the TV? You can tell how far that's come well, through the HD and everything. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. It's a bit grainy. <laughs> you know, I know the result, but I still get excited watching it. Oh, well, exactly, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, still stand up, don't <laughs> Still yeah. awesome. Bamford, I mean, yeah, yeah there's so, question marks over Bamford. I, I'm, I, I am quite excited to see Bamford. I, and, you I know, think... Leeds have a history of well of getting young players and then they go, I mean, take... Vieira. I'm still very upset about Ronnie. Are Gowie. you? Are you upset I about it? I am genuinely upset because yeah, right. I think the boy has a lot of talent. He's very young. I think there's so much more in that boy, and we've sold him. I 100 percent agree. True. There are other to players. A point, however, I, I feel that it does. He did. He does slow the game down a bit. That's sometimes what he does, which is not a bad thing. Okay. It's just yeah. in certain systems, it doesn't quite work. And obviously, you look at the teams he was playing in at pre-season. He was with the under 23s pretty much. Mm. He was yeah, he was captaining the team and he was doing well. He was looking good, but he was in the, that under twenty three squad. He wasn't in that main crux of players, which you know. And the, I mean, no, no one can begrudge the lad for taking the chance. He obviously said he didn't want to go. He publicly said that it wasn't his decision. The yeah. club wanted to sell him, but 
nobody can say anything about it saying right you know what they've accepted a bid I'm off to go live in Italy double the money that I'm on playing against Juventus Napoli Inter AC he'll Willem, love Lazio. it yeah. I hope so I hope <laughs> it's, so it's just sad that because I've, I've, I've seen and I think the so style of football there will suit his play yeah. Yeah. it really will yeah. so good luck to the kid um I don't but there think were others playing. I went to the York pre-season and when they all came out, I was like, oh, they're good, it's not. <laughs> don't know, don't know them. But there were, well, Ronnie was playing and Click, who's, who's been amazing, actually, pre-season. Mm. Yeah, it's been a bit of a revelation. Yeah, um, a lot of people really rated yeah, and, and saying yeah. that, you know, well, even if Forshaw is, you know, out, Click looks like the mm. business this season. Mm. So far he does. I mean, yeah. I will just hold one reservation back is the level of opposition we were playing against. Yeah, well, that's However, true. Yeah, okay. he can only play against who he's playing against. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he, he's come in and he's done the job. A lot of players who play against those teams and don't do the job. Mm. He's come in and done it. Yeah. Proves he deserves another chance. Let's see how he gets yeah. on against championship level teams and then yeah I think this, Croft, yeah, I think he has got yeah. some pedigree about him he's you know he's an international he's played at the top level in Holland uh, for a long time done really well out there and yeah mm. see what happens with and him and we've got some good youngsters I, I, I am the biggest advocate for our young players and so to see the likes of Ryan Edmondson that, that boy came out last season end of end of the season and played a blind, absolute blinder for his age mm. his skill and his maturity yeah. was incredible well the academy's yeah. always been a, such a great place yeah. for it's, young players it's coming, through. The youngsters yeah. coming through it's been fantastic yeah. haven't they we've got, yeah. we've got quite a few haven't we we've, yeah, we've yeah, talked before the thing is it's like if you can, that's the thing isn't it if this season you have the season that you need and you do get up this season you're going to keep hold of these kids hope yeah. so you would think so wouldn't you you'd keep hold of them rather than selling them to Bournemouth, Bournemouth. Who's well, exactly. who exactly. wants to go to Bournemouth well you know not even me at the moment but um, <laughs> uh, but, th but that's the thing isn't it that you know why would you uh, Burnley you know well, so, you know Charlie Taylor Chris Wood, you know wh yeah, why are they Burnley. going to these places but if if Leeds can just oh just that this that's you a, might yeah. that's keep a hold frustration of that's a frustration as a fan is that we we bring on these young players yeah and, and then, then they're, they're, gone. they're gone so you, you, well, you know it harks you, back to that there was that do you remember a couple of seasons ago they did that and it was beautiful like a team oh, lineup it made and it was me all cry. the it was all like the the, uh, the, the classic players Byron, Byron, and, Byron. and it merged yeah. into like and Byron was it Cook, Speed in the middle that, Moet. there was Speed Batty Strachan and McAllister I think yeah. and then and it went into and then he had all the youngsters and you just I sort of cried look at, Darren I it, cried did the you first remember time that? I, I didn't see that. that I stood and cried it was sort of the end of the season I think it was like a season ticket thing wasn't it yeah season ticket and they just like had a line up of like you know some of the the Reeve era and then yeah. it Wilkinson merged into team. like some Sam of the Byram and Alex Moat Speed, Lewis Speed Batty yeah. McAllister and then merged into like all these the new Lewis young kids like the Taylor the 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 Byram the crowd, yeah. so like in the line up yeah. really good and you look at that listen. now they're all gone yeah, yeah. yeah. it made me cry but that gotta, was a team that you just thought as youngsters though you've got to <coughs> excuse me you've got to try and progress your career haven't you yeah. whether you play for a big club or not you want to play in the best league oh, that's, yeah. what, that's what it's about so that's why this happens but I, I agree with Darren in the sense that you do well you do keep hold of them because it it, obviously clubs will see Leeds they want to play at the top stone. level they, you know, to the that's top understandable level, obviously if, they're at, if Leeds are at the top level they no longer become a stopping stone yeah. a stepping stone sorry they are the pedestal where they want to be at yeah, that, that's it but like where's Sam Byram who loved to play football yeah. That kid was great. He's not Went playing. off to it's not playing. So off they go, and they, you know they're, they're yeah, not so that played. I don't, that I don't that, understand. That, that yeah, is, that you know, is... you're a footballer. That's your career. That's what you want to do. If it's all about money, mm. then there's something wrong. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. a footballer first. I think some of their heads get turned. I think they want agents. to unload him now, don't they? Oh, uh, agents! Sure, don't sure. even get bring me started back, bring on back. agents. Um, Keith says the biggest point is that the young players are sold far too soon. This needs to stop happening. Yes. Um, uh, let's. Uh, well, a lot of people agree with you about uh, Klitsch as well. Um, Keith agrees. Great passer. It's like having a new player this season. Um, Brookie uh, says, "Let's say that after ten games with Klitsch, please." Yes. I suppose fair yeah, enough, proofs in the pudding. Enough. That's uh, that's fair enough, mate. Um, uh, Morrison. Uh, same thing happened with Morrison, says Brookie. Uh, uh, remember his shot versus Forrest that went for a throw-in? Yep, I remember that one. Well. Steve Morrison. Yeah, again, there's... A, there's a, talking about the, the, the pressure yep. of a striker coming here. And he was, again, another proven striker who had done it week in, week out. But he came didn't here. want to be here. He no. so did not want to be here. And it was one of them ones that always did against now. Leeds as well. Yeah, yeah always. Darren Huckabee was the one for me. He always seemed oh, to gosh, get... Oh, gosh, I'd forgotten him. ...rockets against the... Like, Huckabee. Yeah. And then he'd come to the yeah, and it would just yeah. run for his run, wouldn't it? it would just, yeah. I still yeah. remember that marvellous time when he went over to America 
and they uh, they got all excited about him over there. Huckerbee, <laughs> <laughs> amazing! It was amazing. You have a look on YouTube. English superstar. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have a look on YouTube. There's like a a, a news report from. I can't remember where he played. Was it like Tampa or somewhere like that? I thought it was a Canadian. Was it one of the Canadian teams? I don't know. I, I might remember. be wrong. I can't, I can't remember. remember. I'm not sure. It's all a blur. Something tornadoes. I can't remember. <laughs> it was something like that. Um, uh, it's all part of money culture today, uh, yeah. says Morky. Uh, blame certain money people who want profit in pocket and certain TV companies. Well, look, there is a lot of money swilling around in the game at the moment. There's no doubt about that. And that's, and that's uh, hopefully what Leeds United are going to try and tap into if they get yeah. uh, uh, promotion. We'll come on to sort of your, your promotion uh, uh, thoughts in a while because it's, I think it's going to be quite... I, I think it's going to be a quite, again, a it's, tough championship again oh, yeah. this season. It's a fantastic oh, yeah. league. You look at the teams that have come down and Forest who have thrown yeah. a lot of money at it. Yeah. I think they're going to be top three, top four, and yeah. it's trying to break into that or maybe just break into the top six for teams like Leeds. Before we get on to um, uh, promotion hopes, um, just on the, the rest of the transfers, the one I'm actually quite excited about, and I, I didn't really know anything about the kid before, Jack Harrison. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, after watching the stuff of him playing over at New York, yeah. um, my God, this kid looks amazing. I mean, you can look at... Anybody can look good on a highlights package. Have Even I can look good. Habibu looked good on his... <laughs> <laughs> Habib Chukaduk. He Habib looked Boo. good on video. You know, to be fair, we clip I do, all the bits together. I do Even watch a bit of MLS. Good, I do watch a bit of MLS, and I'm more excited <laughs> to watch him over the road than I am Patrick Bamford. I think he's going to be yes. a fantastic addition to your squad this yes. season. Could be, but then it, you, you look get the ball at his feet. Well. See, get the ball at his feet. He runs at defenders. Where I think I didn't get a chance to make my point on Bamford, but I'm not Bamford's biggest fan. I hear on on your side when it comes to Bamford, but I think he might suit me else's system, and I also think last season might have been a bit of a coming of age for Bamford where he now progresses and scores 12-15 goals every season nice. he needs somebody up yeah, there exactly. with him we are not yeah, strong someone we like haven't Harrison. for years been and strong got enough. Ailing and Douglas on the full yeah. backs bombing forward but putting him in for, well, for Bamford is, he might is, just be able to knock him in playing a whole new game isn't it tap and shoot mm. forward I mean this has been a revelation yeah. we've got Phillips in the, on defence at the back yeah that's quite exciting, I think, popping uh, Phillips in the back. They've seen the, yeah. the, the back line up at the moment, yeah. I'm quite excited about it because you've got Ailing on one side and then, oh. of course, Douglas on the other. Yeah. That That's what I mean. Them Barada. Them Barada. They, they are fearless. Premier League quality fullbacks. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Don't tell everyone. Well, Douglas ain't going to. Douglas ain't going to go anywhere just yet, is it? Douglas ain't going to go anywhere gagging. just yet. <laughs> but you got them two on your wings, bombing forward. Like I said, Bamford in the middle, Harrison out wide as well, or wherever Harrison might play. I'm not too sure where he might play. He might play um, behind Bamford. And you look at we'll what we've got. We've got potentially Roberts, Roof, oh, yeah. Sayers, Alioski, yeah. Hernandez. Sayers is bubbling around. I mean, Roof. Look, I mean, this sounds awful coming out of a sixty five-year-old woman, but I thought it looked really fit on Sunday, as in, you know, strong, fair, fair enough. healthy, footballing. <laughs> fit. Yeah, Pretty. like it's been training, <laughs> training, you know, so, yeah. Great abs. Short yeah. shorts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Bring back the short shorts. We old women have very little to look forward to. <laughs> um, uh, what have we got here? Some more uh, from Booges93. I think it's unfair to say why have players gone to Burnley when they played in Europe last night. Okay, this is the point. This is why people like me get... like Obviously, it's, it's, my, it's my football team, so I'm going to... I won't yeah. say annoyed, but it just makes... At first, I remember like last first, season... At yep, last season, when Charlie Taylor and Wood come, and obviously you played us in the League Cup, as you already alluded to, because you tried to get a bit of bantering about beating us. Yeah. But even then, it were a case of... <laughs> even then, it were a case of... Black have just made the point. Players want to progress a career, so it doesn't matter if Leeds are a big club. They're going to want to play in the Premier League. If they can't yeah. get there with Leeds, they're going to go somewhere that can get there. And obviously, last night we played in Europe as well. I mean, I know Leeds have played in Europe in my lifetime, and it was a better competition. But it's been a while since Leeds have played in Europe. So if players do want to progress, and they're going to have to go to teams like Burnley or Bournemouth. Uh, but play as Aberdeen. you say, if, or, and playing Aberdeen, and, and playing Aberdeen, well a beautiful European city, city. A beautiful, beautiful city, city of Ab Aberdeen. <coughs> Oh, Great nice brewery. <laughs> yeah, that, that brew dog is a fantastic pub. Fantastic pub. Berlin I've never tried one. I've never tried one. I can't read. I can't read these names. Uh, UC Arisas. Uh, never. No idea. Uh, I think it's down to the agents. Uh, players only yep. leave Leeds when the agents get involved. Yep. I certainly think. Well, there was one. Isn't Charlie Taylor's agent same as Sam Byram's agent? There's a little it was bit his of a... dad, wasn't it? Sam Byram's. Was it, it was really? His dad. 
Surely well, I'll put it this Aiden. way. Aidan Evans lives not far from me and I see him swanning around in a new Bentley every year and I have to say I have to spit it to the, damn it. Uh, and Ashtag says, actually, look at Vidra. Was going to sign until the agent got more involved. Mm. Is yeah, that it was the yeah. agent that that's, that's greedy the greedy that one? Was, yeah, I mean, we were never going to pay that sort of money. We, we, no. can't, afford, we can't afford to play it. Not many teams I would have in the Championship him. can. I would have preferred him to Bamford, to be honest. Yeah. But... It's still not dead, apparently. No. Because, like, I've, I've heard Frank Lampard saying that but, um, no one's, no one's in coming in for him. It's, Derby it's are one in of trouble them. as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they need, Derby they've need got to offload him, him for but the financial if fair he play. Doesn't, if he doesn't, if he doesn't reduce his demands, he ain't going anywhere. No one's nope. going to sign him for that right. money in the nope. championship unless he's waiting for a Premier League club to panic who hasn't made any signings. If they like go Newcastle out on loan, Burnley. if he goes out on loan, does that then come off the financial fair Depends play? Depends how much well, in percentage. How much? I think. Yeah, yeah. Right, I they're, they're it's all about what they're paying still. Yeah, yeah. right. Because so, okay. some clubs pay your hundred percent wages when they take them on loan. Some yeah. do fifty-fifty. So it'll depend. But at the minute, how it's sitting, we spent what reported ten million. On Douglas and Bamford versus 11 million for just Vidra. Mm. I think Apart net what you've only got. spent yep. 3 million. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, because we've got rid of. Uh, yeah, I Ronaldo, think net yeah. it's about 3 million. So that, I, I think there spent. is some money still in the coffers <clears> to, to make a splash, and maybe it will be Vidra because having him that just would playing be off amazing. Bamford. Yeah, he's a good footballer, is Vidra. Yeah. Yeah. That might be the signing to get Leeds into the, the top four, top three sort of area. Definitely top six, anyway. <gasps> well, look, that don't that mention players. Don't mention players. Uh, Andre like Radrazani was talking want to get Leeds in the top six I'm thinking I can't live through another playoff with Leeds you know? no, yeah. no, you no, don't have the really greatest history in playoffs no. yes yeah, he needs to just stop and think about that you one. need automatic you need to be aiming we for need automatic top two, uh, yeah, otherwise automatic we're, promotion yeah. it is far easier when you go up winning the league not great, here, mate. Here we go. <laughs> he, he can't help it, Jill. He can't help it. He don't can't worry. help it. Don't worry, I'll get him back at some point when he's least expecting it. Well, you know as well, don't you? You've seen Bournemouth win the league. Yeah. Um, and, um, I must admit, look, playoffs are, are, are fabulous fun. Was but that the Bournemouth that you... we beat home and away that season? Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But um, going after you now. I'm just trying to remember which oh, team anybody. went anybody. to the Premier League that season. <laughs> I think it was Bournemouth, actually. Yeah, it might, <laughs> might, might have been, might have been. Um, but I mean, Brookie says, uh, um, do we want that greedy player now? Uh, do you well, want that's Vidra? Well, that's a good point. But like you say, it, you know, it's maybe it's the, the agent that's greedy, but, yeah. I mean, if he can come in and score you 25 goals in the season... If he, if he, if he reduces his waste for acceptable level, and like you say, comes in, bangs 20 goals, and Bamford, helps Bamford as well, and mm. we'll fly through, and... Even if we just if we get into the playoffs and we just miss out, if we have that successful type of a <laughs> it's season, not progressing, isn't it? That's progress, and that's what you think about. And yeah, yeah. it's a bit heartbreaking to go through the playoffs again and lose, but any progress would be good. And you think, well, okay, we're worth it if he comes in and next twenty goals, fifteen, twenty goals again. Great. You never know. Sayers might just work with Bamford, although I just don't feel that. Well, he's had a poor pre-season. Has has. Sayers. I've not been yeah. to any pre-season yeah. games. Yeah. He's been he poor, has. so um, quite a lot of people saying he looks a bit overweight as well in that first game that he played. But he looks a bit chunky. Really? So, but I don't, hey, Becky will look chunky and look what he did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, a nice Colverduke of fat lads. So. Andy Robinson looked chunky. Oh, he really did, didn't he? Oh, Andy, Andy Rob <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I do, I do. I'm old. <laughs> um, what about uh, I mean when Bielsa came in there was the 15 players that he says uh, he needed to ship out um, I think he's got rid of quite a lot of those 13, I think it so is, far um, do you not think it's amazing that we got Bielsa sorry I'm just going to have to well, I want to but, ask you about Bielsa actually but yeah. he'd watched every game last season Poor if guy. I'd watched every game last season which I did I bet I wouldn't go near this club. <laughs> he, I mean, up to Christmas. It. If you'd just showed him up to Christmas, I could understand him coming in thinking, well, Do you think that's why he signed Bamford? <laughs> he saw yeah. hat trick well, against Leeds. Right. Yeah, that's, that's why he's, that's why he signed Douglas free kick yeah. against Leeds. Yes, Leeds. Sign him. But I, I, I do feel sorry for Bielsa because he'd have watched all the games probably in the space of around two days, whereas you got to space it out over nine months. It was agony. Yeah. Oh yeah. So imagine how he felt watching it over like two, three days, well, especially probably, the Eckingbottom era. But the guy that he is, he probably sees that as a hell of a challenge for himself. He thinks, yeah. Do you know what? I want to go there. I, want, I, I can turn that around. He obviously thinks he can. He doesn't want to come otherwise. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't he, come otherwise. He wouldn't have come and he wouldn't have stayed because yeah. how long did he stay at Lazio? Oh, about four, about four days. days. Yeah, and he ripped up the contract. And you sort it? of think, well, you know, if they've got someone like that and he's and he's still here. Mm. Um, what, yeah, we're the, doing well. We're doing well. The Lazio thing was about signings as well, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. They did not make the splash in the market. And I was yeah. thinking he was going to do the same thing, just be off on his bike back to Buenos Aires or wherever. So. Well, yeah, exactly. Because I. Uh, that's a long way to sign. That was. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a little bit of the worry, though, wasn't it? Because it was. he comes over, he's this, you know, unbelievable manager, yeah. you know, who's managed the Argentinian yeah, yeah. football team. Uh, Chilean national team. Like you yeah. say, people have got tattoos of him it on has their a legs. stadium named after him. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, like an absolute legend. Pep Guardiola sees him mm. as a mentor. Pot Pochettino, Simeone, Batistuta. They all about him on. Did Pot you know he once turned up at Pot 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 I never say his name. Pot Pochettino's house okay. at one o'clock in the morning. Right. With, a, with a grenade? No, he wanted no? to measure his legs and he was fast asleep, so his wife let him in the house and he went and measured this guy's legs while he was fast asleep. <laughs> I mean, he's absolutely bonkers. Is that real? Yeah. Is that Bielsa went in yeah. and measured yeah. someone's legs yeah. while they were asleep? One in the morning. I've heard of some fetishes, but I mean, well, that's left that's one, an, right one. That's I don't know, it just one. said measured his legs. It doesn't matter. Measured his legs. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, with the My mind boggling at the moment. I know, I thought this is very bizarre. He's my sort of bloke. So, <laughs> I think you have to be a little bonkers to come here. So, I think. He's sort of a good fit, then, isn't yeah, he, really? Yeah. El Loco. El I mean, Loco. It's, the thing is, and I think what, what I've heard from so many people is this is either going to be a tremendous success oh, yeah. or an absolute car crash. Well, oh, that's yeah. Leeds. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it sort of fits we really well, ground. doesn't it? There is no middle ground, is there? <laughs> I think it sort of fits really nicely. Well, in the song, we've had an ups and downs. There's no ups and downs on plateau, is there? It's just. <laughs> yeah. and we're and up or we're down. We're just... yeah, 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 that's right. You, I mean, Bielsa, he's exciting, isn't he? That's yeah. the thing. I think there's a lot of uh, Leeds fans that are very excited because this is like a world class. I think class he needs guy. to have a bit of media training because when you see fans having the photos, it's like. <laughs> Well, they don't even make you eye know. contact at press. Well, it's it? just... exactly the point I was about to make. You know, when people have that sort of like air of insanity about them, <laughs> some geniuses have that air of insanity yeah. about them. That's exactly the feel I get from him. Because I asked him a few questions about uh, his unveiling. As soon as I first went, Marcelo, I mentioned his name. He looked up, looked at me as if to say, like, what, like, what's to see, like, what type of person I am and stuff. Get the air about me, and then he head straight back down again, oh and then he head down until they finished my he question. Obviously thought next he's from Burnley. Yeah. Yeah. Up, next up, journal, from Burnley. Well, he does exactly. Head down. Well, the point is, he does exactly the same for every single journal. There were one person that he smiled at, and that was the Argentinian journal because he did it in in Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, and he said Argentinian then. How's your Spanish? Well, no, I said Argentinian. Uh, I can order two beers. That's about it. And say thanks for him. Dos yeah. cerveza, por favor. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Gracias. Como esta? Como I know that. Have a nice day. Uh, I think it's how I'll are start you? listening Come to some um, how are you? Spanish linguistic podcasts and impress him at Next Presser mm. after Stork. You should, you should Talking learn. Talking of which, may I just say hello to some lovely Spanish of people you I met? Because um, I said they were going to watch. And okay. And Joseph and Anna and Gia, Cracking who name. stayed with me on Monday at my house and have made a big move up to Scotland. Where were you? Oh, yes, you From were telling Barcelona. me about it. Right, yeah. OK. So, Congratulations hello. to them. Hello to them. Um, uh, uh, hashtag says, uh, hopefully, uh, Bielsa's the guy that can be the key factor to our season. Sometimes a manager can make the difference. Look at Ranieri and Leicester. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Tinker Man. Is he your Tinker Man, do you think? Well, I think he's a damn good appointment. So it definitely is a good appointment. Uh, it is a very serious appointment. Yeah. Well, you know, we sat here a few years ago talking Hockey Day. I mean, how many leads have we? Oh the hell God. is Hocker Day? Um, and oh I thought dear. that was, you know, that was such a statement as if to say, I really don't care about this club. I've got you somebody in cheap. Um, no ambition. You know, the guy was so out of his depth. Mm. And this is the complete reverse. It's like, this Chalk is a and big... Chalk cheese, isn't it? Highest paid yeah. manager in our history. And yeah. Internationally yeah. acclaimed manager. Yeah. And we've made yeah. the highest transfer, seven million. Yeah. It's the Since last time Robbie we did Fowler. that, Robbie Fowler, and that was a, that was a fair old ago. time ago, that wasn't was it? That early two thousands, wasn't it? Well, you think it wasn't 90. long ago that we were absolutely astounded we paid one million for Luke Murphy? That yeah. wasn't too long ago. Well, I'm still astounded at that, but there we are. He'll <laughs> 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 always have a special place for me. He's got that way oh, on his Brighton. debut. Oh, Brighton! Everybody loved Brighton. And when he admitted that he'd not been playing up, to, living up to expectation, yeah. he did take a pay cut. Really? He took a pay cut, he, you know, he admitted, he said, I want a longer contract and I know I've not been playing to the level, so I will take a pay cut. So, do you know what? Fair play. He never Lost tore up, no, he never rewrote anything, he just did what he had to do and never quite achieved what potential yeah. I thought he had, but yeah. anyway. He got released yesterday, was it? Yeah, so. got to Bolton. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw he signed for, for, for Bolton, that's probably quite a good move for, for, for Luke oh, Murphy, yeah. isn't it, really? And for Bolton. Um, OK, uh, so let's have a look at uh, the, the season as a whole. I mean, uh, I've, uh, Diane said, no, not playoffs again. Um, <laughs> uh, so thanks for that. And, and I think that's probably, you know, you, you, you've got to be looking at automatic promotion. But you look at the teams in that uh, uh, championship now, uh, and that is a 
t- I mean, it's, it's tough it's every a tough, year. It is. Mm. But it's, it seems especially yeah. tough this year. I don't if know. It's the Premiership. You have the, the two teams over the Pennines. You, Liverpool, Tottenham. Um, Chelsea. Chelsea, Arsenal. That's kind of your Premier League where this, this division... It's anybody's game. Mm. It really is. That you don't think, oh, that is the standout team. No, we look at Sheffield United and Brentford. Yeah. Last, you know, they're yeah. fantastic. Um, yeah. But, yeah. And, I mean, Cardiff, I don't think they were anything special, but they, they did it. Mm. So, so you just... But Cardiff just had a good manager, which is obviously what Leeds do now. That's all that they needed. Hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> he, can, he can do it at small clubs. Well, yeah, but as soon as he, he, gets, to the, as soon as he gets to the level of the Premier League... That's it. It'll it, 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 it'll, it'll get found out again, and Cardiff yeah. will go down again. It was all about Colin. It's all <laughs> about don't, Colin. Don't Colin, Colin. It hits. Yeah, I know he does. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> does he? Yeah. I can't, uh, can't imagine why. <laughs> oh. If you're looking at the odds on promotion uh, for this yeah. season, okay, uh, Stoke are favourites, obviously, yeah, uh, six to four. There's a tough game to start off with, yep. but we'll, we'll talk about that. West Brom are next, five to two. Aston Villa at eleven to four. Uh, Middlesbrough at the same 11 to 4. Then it's Leeds, 100 to 30. Um, uh, Nottingham Forest, the same, 100 to 30. Swansea, 100 to 30. Uh, you've got Derby at 7 to 2. Brentford, 4 to 1. Sheffield Wednesday, 13 to 2. Pretty much it. But you, Derby are in financial problems, aren't they? are in financial problems. I think things yeah, could go a, a bit from Peter, aren't they, though, and Did they, they f- get Marriott? Was it Marriott? Marriott, yes. Because we were linked. Well, with Madison, they, they were yeah. married, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, Marriott was linked uh, with yeah. Leeds it last was. season, it actually, was. as well, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah. I think certainly in January, there was yeah. a lot of yeah. talk about him. Uh, maybe coming up uh, to, uh, to Ellen Road, but uh, um, it, you look at the names in that and the top, and you've got one, two, three, four, five. You've probably got eight teams there that you'd think. Phew, They've all got a pretty good chance of Because uh, we're often promotion. linked with the other end, aren't we? Teams that might get relegated Leeds. Yeah. So well, yeah. to actually have that, To be up the other end, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we were talking to a Sheffield Wednesday fan yesterday, um, and and he's expecting mid-table, mid-table this, this season for, for Sheffield Wednesday, and they'd be quite happy with that. And there's and almost I'm this assumption that teams come down from the Premiership and they're going to go straight back up, which, if we hadn't have had the extra 15-point deduction, we would have done. Yeah. Thank you, Football True. League, Football yeah, Association. No, but it doesn't always happen, does it? No, no. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't always happen. Um, but I, I don't know. Stoke this weekend. Um, that's, that's that's a tough one to start. Off it with. is. It's a baptism of fire in it. it. Yeah, they are for me the best team in the championship this season. And Leeds, it's a good test for Leeds, though, because yeah. if, if Leeds can can get a win and, and play some free flowing football and, and be able to show off his his free flowing. Uh, Ethos. tactics and yeah. things like that and, and it all just clicks immediately then all of a sudden the city's buzzing and everyone's thinking we're going to do it this year so it's a fantastic test oh, and yeah. even, even if they get yeah. beat like 1-0 or something they can learn from the fact that right well these are one of the best sides in the, in the league That's if it. not the best side we'll take this take that and we'll learn from it and we'll move on yeah it's like when Newcastle were down a couple of seasons ago you're thinking well those are two games we're not expecting to win yeah exactly we're not expecting to do anything there so we'll just mm. write off those six points for now if we get anything fantastic if we don't we don't Stoke are at that level for me I mean yeah. how they've improved mm. a already fantastic squad for this division yeah that's you know, it they're better than what they were last year bringing him in, in, in proven yeah. did they get um, the lad from Newcastle as well or was that a rumour did it not go through which one the one that was at Bournemouth previously I can't remember his name can't remember his Scottish name Scottish kid I'm not sure. Don't know. You know what I mean? It was. I know. Who, I know who you mean. Winger. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly who you mean. I'm Fraser. Up. Right. No, no. No. Not Ryan Fraser. He was at Bournemouth. He's now at. He was at Newcastle last season. Cracking left foot on him. Blonde hair. Richie. Yes. Matt Richie. Richie. Did he go to Stoke? Oh, there was strong rumours about him going. Uh, I'm not seen not it. Sure. I don't know. I don't know if he has gone to uh, to Stoke. Um, but he yeah. would have been a signing for him. But I know there was strong rumours. But they've they've absolutely yeah they've really really done well and. Uh, They'll be a fearful team. They're, they're, they're not just skillful. They're not just strong. They're not just quick. They're, like, they're going to be like Wolves were last year. They're, they're all of the above. And obviously yesterday yeah, they Wolves signed were great. Ashley Williams as well for the season from Everton on loan. Heck of a defender in this. Yeah. Oh, I think we yeah. might be getting Pennington back. Oh yeah, I have seen that. What's that? Yeah, I did I, offer to drive him to Wigan, but <laughs> <laughs> so I've <laughs> I quite liked Pennington. I what? thought he, I thought he was all right. He it got injured. A bit hit and miss, weren't it? He bit hit and miss, but those more first few, yeah, it was more miss. <laughs> did we if miss anything. that game? We must have done. I've heard we I probably did. Many, but uh, first Mishandis. couple of games I saw him in before he got uh, like that injury. I thought he looked uh, pretty good. Okay. As cover, I don't think he's a is a, a bad player really. 
Mm. You're not a big fan, are you? No. Obviously not, no. No. Was... <laughs> that didn't excite you when you saw oh, that no. coming up on your Twitter it's timeline. Like 40-odd games and Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Really? And after that's what I said yeah. earlier. I think oh, Coops is a good a good leader, actually. I don't have a problem and with And that's him. the thing. I'm, I don't it's... have as much of a problem as a lot of people yeah. do with him. I, I just don't a, think he's... He's a good captain. Yeah. But anyway. He has good games and bad games, but he's not... We've got... We've got... Calvin Phillips is only a centre half. Yeah. What's your okay? So what? What's your starting lineup then for uh, the game against Luke Stoke? Ailing. What would you? Luke Ayling. Luke Ayling is, is number one. Luke Ayling and number two. Luke, Luke Ayling. Ayling. Yeah. I Luke, love that man. And then Berardi. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. Do, do, do you go Blackman or do you go Peacock Farrell? Obviously, well, BPF's got the number yeah, one jersey. Yeah. Well, I think you've got to go Blackman because you brought him in. But that doesn't yes, change. But, but he was then fantastic why give Bailey number yeah, was. one? I don't know why they've done that. In all fairness, I think maybe because Bailey belongs to Leeds, yeah. whereas whereas Blackman doesn't. Uh, I think I think I were a bit surprised they brought Blackman in. I thought Bailey could have stepped up, but I think it's a good decision to bring him in at the same time because yeah. I think he is probably a better goalkeeper, and Bailey will only learn from him this season, and Bailey yeah. will be a better goalkeeper next season for it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a bit of an so, interesting. That's going to be that, that's going to be one of the in yeah. big intrigues for Sunday yeah. when yeah. he starts there. But I think you're back. Four, five, whatever. You see, we've got Pontus. We've got, don't yeah. forget Pontus. So you got it'd be Pontus, Phillips, and Cooper probably as your back. Oh, so it's looking like Phillips will drop out there. Mm. Yeah. And then you'll have obviously yeah, well Douglas, 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 Douglas and Ailing. And Ailing. But will Douglas be ready? Barade. I don't know what his that's it. Been yeah, like. that, that's one of the questions I'll be asking Bielsa today. Like, are the new signings ready? Have they had a good enough pre-season with Leeds yet, that's or are they going to wait a few weeks? So we that'll be interesting. That's it. Obviously, it depends if. Um, God, for sure's fit or not? Yeah. As to whether he plays. Seems a bit if excessive. Not, who do you put this in? cast. You don't put okay, do you? No, mm. well, we still got him. As He's haven't got, he ain't got a squad number though, as I so. That's all right. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I think a lot of it does depend on the new signings. If they're, if they're ready, Bamford is he ready? Harrison is he going to be ready? For I the, think Bamford must be ready. They Bamford wouldn't be putting start. him up to the media today unless yeah, he was yeah, ready. Probably. I, they, I think otherwise, he, they, he wouldn't be there. I think. I think Harrison. Too. I think build the team around him is probably not what they're going to do. But I think he's going to be the focal point of the attack. He's got to be. Yeah. That spearhead. That so thing. that's why I think he'll start. Whether he's. Bielsa fit or not whether that's a saying around here because like in Burnley is, is, is he Dyche fit because Dyche is, is a drill player drill well, manager like Bielsa, Bielsa not apparently is as much as Bielsa. working them really yeah, exactly, hard yeah. three times yeah, a yeah, day yeah. Yeah. up at Thorpe Arch till half seven in fact, I think it, it were Leeds or, or, or a local journalist that put a picture up of the lads um, in the in the um, the the canteen up at Thorpe Arch watching like a 7pm World Cup game towards the end of the World Cup and oh, it really? like, the lads having a quick break before another session. I'm like, oh, it's seven pm. What are you doing? Yeah. We're well, like five pm. Let them go home. Let them no, go home and do. relax. I do it in the morning. Let them do it in the morning. This is the thing I never understood about uh, footballers: is that you know you go for, like if you're training at like ten thirty in the morning, and you do that for an hour and a half, and then that's it. Uh, you, I you, you're go done home, for the rest play of the day. Yeah. Do a bit of shopping. And you're sort of like what? Go. Exactly. No, you're paying them that amount of money a week. I'd have them in nine to five. My my husband's involved in rowing. There's a lot of British rowing juniors, mm. and he takes kids on training camps, and they're on the water at six in the morning. Then they have breakfast, they're back out on the water, they have lunch, a bit of a rest, they're back out. You know, they are training three or four times a day, proper hard on training, gym, you know, lifting weights and everything. This doing an hour and a half down yeah. that Thorpe Arch on a morning is ridiculous at this, this level. Uh, this is what I like about what would be else has brought in because they're, they're all saying I think I think it was an interview with Luke Ayling that I've read, and he's saying they're just like a coiled spring yeah. because they're just so fit now. Everybody's just ready to go, and I know they're saying the right things before the start of the season. Yeah. But you think yeah. you are going to if you train three times a day for the last mm. month, so you are going to be. Roof. I mean, he looks really fit. Yeah. Really, there you know, she, there she goes again. No, no, no. <laughs> perving on the players yet again. I did think Habib Hababu was very beautiful, but never mind. Was throwing ducks around the pitch. And he was French, you know, win-win. <laughs> so, um, you know, it was. It, they look. They looked better. Yeah. yeah they, oh yeah. They look yeah. like they've been training. Yeah, they do. They, they, they do think, look a lot know, healthier, a lot more lean, and yeah, ready for it. That's got to be a positive. But, uh, but Chris, Chris Wood did when he came under. Um, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, when he was injured and he he started getting fit, and then he came back, and what a season he had for yeah, us! He was, was brilliant. Well, he was a different player, wasn't yeah. he? Really, because he, he yeah. again he was barn door yeah. the, yeah. the yeah. season before. He was the most lightweight big man up front that I've ever seen. He, again, a bit like the Viduka thing I mentioned earlier. At the start of that season, he went a few games. He was getting a lot of criticism yeah. because mm -hmm. remember he scored that scissor kick, mm -hmm. and he went up to the cop and 
Yeah, yeah. And you know, he got told by a few people in the club saying, "Don't do that." <laughs> I know you're frustrated. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and, but then he went on and had obviously a season of his life. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, uh, other things that have happened uh, during the the summer. We've not heard anything more about uh, a new badge, so that's probably good news. Uh, that that's that, that that's gone. I think they did say that they will be doing it again after this season, really? but they're well, going to pin that design next year, yeah. isn't it? So they're going to be doing that. Yeah, yeah. Let's 2019. do something special for tw- yeah. Yeah, that's it's see like that's tonight. that's why. What did you think about the new kit? Uh, what do you think it's about good. that? It's nice, but I was a bit underwhelmed. It just feels like it's, it's a bit plain, not last season. It? The season before, it just looks pretty similar to that. And where is the female? Sizing. Have Ooh. they not got any in the shop? Apparently, they know that obviously they have the small, medium, large for the men, and they normally have the six, eight, ten, twelve, or whatever it is for the women, but they don't do it. Apparently, really? Has that As always been there before? Yeah. But it's a fitted, it's obviously yeah. female fitted. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. meant to yeah. complement the female physique, but they've, they've not brought one out of this, so. Nope. Yeah, right, Ladies okay. aren't happy. But, I, I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, I do yeah. think it's a really nice kit, but I liked how what they did last season with the gold, it was a bit different. You know, yeah, with the things down the side and everything. This just feels like just two playing. seasons ago. Yeah. But what about um, uh, Bremner Square? That's something that's new that. this uh, this love year. That. I've told my kids I don't have to buy me a headstone because I've got one out there. <laughs> <laughs> I've saved you a load of money, kids. Uh, well, it, th- I must admit, I have one. I've, I've noticed. I noticed you uh, tweet it. It's me and my dad have got one. Have you got one as yeah, well? My husband and I. <laughs> And I bought Laura's boyfriend one. Nick's got one for his birthday. I put one down for him. Aww. Yeah. yeah. It is, I must admit, yeah. I, I'm really quite impressed with it. I think it's, uh, it it's really look, good. It nice looks here, it? It amazing. Looks really nice. And then they're going to roll out phase two, aren't they? That's to so the what's, back what's yeah. phase yeah. two going to be then? What are it's they going to the do? Back, it's going to be in the back. So it's just going to get bigger and bigger. Yeah, because if you look, it's three sides, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if you come out of the shop on the left hand side, right. it's just still tarmac or whatever it is. They're going to do that. So they're going to do. All right. But what was hilarious was last Sunday. Sunday, there's about 6,000 Leeds fans all walking around like... <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find their square. Yeah. Ryan uh, um, from LS11, Pigeon Detectors, uh, he, he said it took him 25 minutes to try and find well, where somebody. he was. Well, somebody... I found his straight away. Oh, did you? Did you? <laughs> took me ages to find mine. Somebody, bless them, had actually been down and photographed everyone. They'd taken block photos. Oh, wow. And then put it on one of the... Fans, you know, Facebook oh, pages. Nice. So I found Nick's quite quickly, but and I was looking for hours, and eventually I found it. Yeah. So I was trying to find the, something big near it to yeah. to market. Yeah. Well, they so, give you a, a segment. Yeah, say, you oh, get. It's, in, it's under one of the. People. I'm in Eddie. Yeah. So so am I. Are you? Are you, are you in Eddie? <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in time same Eddie as well. <laughs> are you in Eddie as well? <laughs> it's quite a big area. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, right, it's Eddie, okay. a, Eddie needs Eddie a big B. area. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie A and. Is it? I think it's the actual square footage that Eddie covered while he scored that goal against Burnley. Burnley. That was epic. I weren't even alive. <laughs> well, if you go on YouTube, you can alive. watch it. I'll be it. all right. I'll be all right. Uh, centenary <laughs> badge, apparently. According to, Mor- <laughs> according to Morky, centenary badge is incoming. Uh, that sounds about right that they do something for the centenary, maybe. They, how could they get something so wrong? So utterly, utterly so wrong. The thing that made me laugh is they said they consulted hundreds of fans. Who? 10, 000, exactly. 10,000 10, fans. 10,000 fans consulted. Put your if, hand up if, if you're one of them. If they consulted 10,000 fans, well, they did. We would have met some of these fans by now. But it was a fan survey, and one of the things they asked in that yeah. fan survey what does it mean was, to be Leeds? "What does it mean to like be Leeds?" Uh, Why did, uh, did you do it? No, but I, just, I know someone who did. Oh. And, uh, it, and I've it's not all met about like, did yet. which images do you think you know, in, uh, you know, embellish Leeds, Leeds, incorporate Leeds, 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 it was very West Ham. West Ham did it. Yeah, they did it. Very yeah, yeah, West Ham. I can see the similarity. But I meant with Bournemouth, because obviously you've got Strangely a guy hitting enough, the ball. Same. They've got a guy doing the salute. Same chap, same, same chap. chap. Well, yeah, indigestion. same chap. <laughs> yeah, that was the best one. The guy who's done one. Uh, Angus <laughs> Kinnear is going to be on Talking Shut, I think, next Tuesday. Is it? Oh, I think is it's it next coming? Tuesday. Or, yeah, he's coming in either next Tuesday or week was on Tuesday it, after. He was on it at some point last season as well, weren't he, Kinnear, I think. Uh, or he was in the studio on a... On not with podcast. us, not with us. But he's coming. He's coming in. Next I seem to remember him being in here. I saw him in Subway last week. Oh, did you? Yeah, wow. just downstairs. I like it. Everybody gets it. What I like it is when people <laughs> catch him and he's in the McDonald's and he gets a phone call and he has to go out. Yeah, he was on phone. He was on, on the phone at the end because I went downstairs, saw him, thought I'll give him a wave. You no, know, he's not looked up. Right, went to the end of the queue. <laughs> another way, still Angus! on the phone. Still Angus! on the phone. Got got the butter. Angus, still on the Mr. phone. Kinnear. Still on the phone. <laughs> Angus, he was on the phone for the entire thing. No, he's not heard. 
me. But then you sound Bamford. The then you sound Bamford about three days later. So I, I'm just going to ignore him. Tonight I reckon he's on phone sorting Bamford out. Oh, uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm like, when I'm leaving, I'm like banging out window. But the state melted his ass. Uh, Morky also says uh, saw Bremner Square I've booked two for me Aww. and the wife and my late mum and stepdad uh, so it's not it nice. I do like it. it's a lovely it's lovely wonderful. thing it doesn't seem very expensive no no no, no. you can get it for like 60 quid or yeah. something like something that, like that. Yeah. yeah it's not bad it's, it, it is alright yeah. really it's a great present and at night it's they've, they've illuminated Billy haven't they mm. so have it, they it well I've not seen that because I'll leave here in the daytime yeah, yeah. yeah it's something for you to look forward to so. <laughs> <laughs> when we leave I look late. forward to that in the dark winter now Oh, well, do you have coming. a Burnley? A statue lit up. We don't have a statue. Oh, do you not have I a thought. statue? We no. have two. They don't need to the Premier League. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Europa League trophy coming to us oh. in, in May. <laughs> you, haven't got 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 a you haven't even got a statue. You haven't even got a statue. We don't do that. Have you got clappers? That's just Huddersfield. Have you got clappers? No, we don't have them. That's have you got, have you got gold music? No. Mm. Oh, we used to back in the day. We used to have. They used to love it because they like 14. And now, yeah, we don't have it. Don't need it. Are they Tim bringing Pop. in gold music over there? Do you know? Oh, I hope not. I hope so. After the grief I've got here, I'm not I hate going it. <laughs> Tweeting you all, filming gold music, watching you all dancing, I hypocrites. They <laughs> <laughs> bring out the pig bag. <laughs> <laughs> one, but one thing we used to have at Burnley was like some proper good half-time entertainment. They get the toilets, two. Toilets, because they don't. I think. To- oh, well, What's that all about? <laughs> of course, there's toilets. That's rubbish banter. <laughs> but they used to have it's quite, two it's inflatable, two inflatable <laughs> sumo wrestlers go head to head. Like some Someone dressed in the opposing oh, team colours and someone dressed That's in the much. Burnley colours and just run at each other. Whoever fell lost. It was Where was funny. that? On the pitch? At half time. Obviously, they do it. It was half time <laughs> entertainment. Wow. Wow, wee. Well, we've got Dizzy penalties. Yeah. I set my mate up for that for his 40th last year. I got in touch with Lee. Yeah, they did that at stuff, as well. And uh, he went, right, I'll get him on. So he got him on. He'd had a couple of drinks as well. He didn't oh. know about yeah, it. Oh my god! Until about ten minutes before I rang him saying, "You're off on at half time." At what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so he called him and he, um, yeah, he didn't do very well. <laughs> did he not? <laughs> he, he still owes me for that. He, told, he promised me he's going to get me back for that. <laughs> I'd like to be a mascot. You see, I think it's ages that they have all these gorgeous children come running out. What about a few o- OAPs? What about carry the community for us old folk? Mind you, I'm not sure I could run that far. Honest. <laughs> I'd be all right. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Maybe they should yeah. change their mascot policy. Yeah. Open it up to everybody. Yeah. yeah knowing you're like, you'd have that Vinnie Jones incident, wouldn't you? Where you slide, slide tackle. <laughs> slide tackle. But if you mascot. open it up to uh, OAPs, then you've got to open it up to everybody, and then you'll have like full grown men uh. just walking out arm in arm, <laughs> hand in hand with Samuel Saez. <laughs> It just look a little bit strange. Down, Folk, Folk, it. <laughs> Folk it, shin pads, captain's armband. Oh on. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stella Mick, massive from the local. belly. Yeah, you'll get that breed. <laughs> that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's the same time that wear the full uh, cycling gear on for yeah. the week. Oh, <laughs> the, the light when the tour de Yorkshire comes oh. around. <laughs> Yeah, so I've, I've seen many You've of them. You've got to have a certain physique to pull them off. Oh, yeah. yeah. And realistically, only professional cyclists have that physique. <laughs> yeah. No one else has the physique to pull that <laughs> yeah. off. Uh, I, I get a pair of gel shorts, I get that. Because, you know, you need gel shorts with those. Because those seats are like razor blades. Yes, fully, fully appreciate so, that. Fully. You a fan of the cycling? Me? <laughs> I should cook her. I grew up in a cycling world. My dad was a cyclist. He started really? the Harrogate Nova Cycling oh, really? Club. And he was president of the Yorkshire Cycling Federation so oh, wow. I know a lot about cycling oh good good yeah uh, yeah. I, 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 and I, for three weeks it's like just let's put the tour on while we have lunch and four hours later well, should we do so, should we do something now <laughs> so. I do love Tour de France it is, yeah. great. It is great we camped up on butter tubs when it came to Yorkshire and we we just do the lot yeah it's a f- fantastic, fantastic event yeah. um, ok so first game of the season Leeds against Stoke Sunday afternoon 4.30 kick off thank you Sky Live on Sky um, and there's already uh, God knows how many games I think we're already. on Sky more than Burnley I'm not sure Burnley are on at all but they are where, they're on BT they? Sport last night where oh, on Sky what? where who <laughs> where on Sky more than any team in the country at the minute yeah we are Five times. Unbelievable. Even, even none of the Premier League. That's not a good year. thing, though. Even that's not that a good thing. We well, hate it. And, yeah, and somebody, I, I hate it. somebody it's not bought a good me thing a all. mug with all the fixtures on. That was like, mm, this is out of date already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it, so, at least on five times? Yeah. In the first four games, probably. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's get some score predictions, shall we? Ooh. Score predictions. See, um, I, I'm going to go first because I think it'll be a draw. Yeah. I think it's going to be a one all or a two two. I don't know, oh, but yeah, I just think it'll draw. be a score draw uh, mm. this weekend. Uh, that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, Jill, what do you reckon? 
I don't know, Darren. It's going to be a tough game. And like you're saying, it's going to be a real test of, of, of how we are. Um, I don't think we'll win. I think it could be 2-0. 2-0 Stoke. Stoke. Ooh. Uh, so I've, got, the I've got a heart onto the head answer, but I'm going to go with my head and I'm going to go 2-1 Stoke. You're going to go two. I've never heard this in a pre-season. Oh my God, I, Leeds I think fans, because are... we're going into the unknown as, as Leeds yeah. and Stoke are as good as they are. Yeah. Potentially, I just think it's oh, difficult well, to shout any other way. It is. It is incredibly difficult to predict. I think both teams will score. <laughs> She's having to go again, mate. Right? Both <laughs> teams go will again. score. Both teams will score. Is that better? That sounds more Yorkshire. Doesn't score it? from Burnley. Both teams will score. <laughs> and yeah. then Love three it. one Stoke, I think. 3-1. 3-1, mm. really? mm. So I'm the only one, the Bournemouth fan, is the only one that's giving Leeds a point this weekend. Thank you, Darren. We'll take right, that. No problem at all. <laughs> That'd be a cracking result. A, a draw would be an amazing result. I, 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 you know, because it's a tough game first up of the season. Although, having said that, Leeds do have a history of beating the better teams. And mm. then teams that you think you should be beating, yeah. like Barnsley or somebody, come along and wipe the floor with us. It's really yeah. weird. Yeah. So maybe I've, well, I've got it all wrong. But maybe. I think it'll be tight. I don't think it'll be tighter than 3 1. I think it'll be 2 1. Or maybe yeah. 1 0, but I'm going 2 1. Uh, Ashtag's going for a 2 2. Uh, he says, I'm a first time listener. Jill is a legend. Thank you. Uh, she is a legend. The she check's is. in the post. And she's, she's bought in some biscuits as well this morning. Uh, what are the biscuits, by the way? Um, well, I don't know what you call them, really. They're made with gluten free oats mm. and low sugar chocolate. Ah, boom! Perfect. Which sounds awful, but actually they're not bad. That sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this chocolate should be loaded with sugar. Should, should be loaded with sugar. Yeah. Um, okay, but well, if you've missed any of uh, Fan Friday, you're going to be able to download this uh, a little bit later on the, this morning from your usual podcast app, uh, and you can download that. Of course, uh, we'll be back at the same time next Friday for another uh, Fan Friday. Uh, Jill, thank you very much uh, for coming Pleasure. in this morning. Really, really appreciate it. Dom, thank you very, very much. Thank you for having Enjoy me. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Wait. I will, I'm so I will excited. Right, I, will right. I won't sleep on Saturday night. I'll be so excited. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. You're going to enjoy it. It's going to be fab but season. I've got, a, be... I've got a good feeling about this I season. I've got a feeling. I, I honestly we are do. Leads. Let's go for it. I think so. I think that, I think this is the year. This is the year. Well, I think we're due. We're due a year. <laughs> How many times have you said that sat in that chair, though? Not. No, that, I've got to be honest with you. No. Not ma not that often. I did. Could, uh, mm. Gary Monk year, season. Yeah, Gary last, Monk season. I did. Yeah, I remember. I, I remember. I remember the Gary Monk season. The, the bit beginning of, of last, last season. Year, obviously, they started well. Yeah. yeah. So at the I end of excited. September, everyone was like, "Well, it's happening." You see, we were. Well, you were top of the league. Yeah. Well, Leeds United were top of the league. It was unbelievable. But you see, this time last year, we were sitting here, and all these there unknowns so much unknown, were coming they, in. All last these Alioski's and never knew anything. Yeah. Who are these people? You know where? And all of a sudden, you're top of the league, and like, oh, these people are amazing. Then it just fell off a cliff. We did. I don't. I don't know what. <laughs> happened, but well. anyway, yeah, it was, Luke Ailey was injured, that's what happened. Uh, you can enjoy plenty more, of course, uh, of Leeds United podcasts from Proper Sport. Talking Shut is broadcast every uh, Tuesday night from 6.30. You can download the uh, latest episode of that one in Bielsa We Trust. And, of course, LS11 with Simon Grayson, uh, who joined us on the Proper Sport yesterday. Uh, really interesting chat with Simon Grayson yesterday, certainly where he was off coming back twice. I know. I didn't know it was twice. And the club no, Joel's hacking bottom over him. That's got a bit of a reaction. I know on, that was that, that was shocking. Mm. I was yeah. The, the, to know that he was yeah. going to come back, and then yeah. they chose Paul Heckingbottom yeah. over Simon Grayson. But a lot of people have then said to me, uh, "Thank God he didn't come so back he then." Have because yeah, well, not just that they wouldn't want to see Simon Grayson go like Paul Heckingbottom, no, uh, yeah. and not get the support and uh, and just be basically like a scapegoat. Absolutely. Um, because I I actually felt quite sorry for Paul Heckingbottom. Uh, did you? Yeah, I did. To I, a degree, I he's well, not, he wasn't no. given he wasn't given anything. But uh, I think, you know, the engineer that he signed, just happened to sign a contract at Barnsley the week before Yeah. he came. So, you know, there was all that money changing hands for him. And, and then not to know, actually Barnsley, give him was, a, any backing. It was backing. Barnsley. And he'd been out, you know, when we played Barnsley, he'd been on the TV and the radio and everything saying how much he hated Leeds and all of this. It and didn't start well, did so it? So it, it was never going <laughs> to stack up I didn't want him in the first instance, but I don't like how he got bombed out. I yeah. did feel a bit bad for him. Uh, download the LSL and podcast. Uh, that's available right now with Simon Grace, and it's well worth uh, listening uh, to that. Uh, guys, thank you very much Cheers, uh, for joining us this morning. Pleasure. Uh, we'll be back with more Fan Friday next Friday.